Michael, with Memorial Day weekend now upon us, many are rushing toward the unofficial start of summer. But a PennDOT, woman, PennDOT spokeswoman tells me that anticipation can often lead to dangerous driving and heightened risk to pedestrians. The countdown to summer is nearly over. People are going to take advantage now that the weather is getting warmer of being outside as much as they can. Um, and, and so you see that increase in the bicyclists and the motorcyclists and the pedestrians. But as Memorial Day travelers hit the road, they sometimes forget to pack one thing, caution. It's a shared responsibility, so everybody has a, a play in it. Though the holiday weekend only just began, pedestrians are already feeling the impact of busy roads and doing more to stay safe. With all the festivities, people just drinking and not paying attention. Waiting to cross the street, we're waiting longer. During the four-day Memorial Day period in 2023, state police reported 651 crashes, resulting in 142 injuries and four deaths. 547 DUI arrests were also made, with over 30,000 citations issued, a third of which were due to speeding. Because of this, Schreffler says pedestrian and cyclist defensive safety this weekend is crucial. The motorists need to be aware that the pedestrians, the bicyclists, the motorcyclists, whoever, have the same right to be out there as they do, and they need to be watching for them and take some extra caution when they're around them. On the flip side, those who are walking or riding bikes or riding motorcycles need to pay attention to their own behaviors. You can't just step out and expect a car to stop. So if you're going to be getting out and walking or biking this weekend, Schreffler says to utilize crosswalks and wear bright clothes so that drivers can see you. If you're getting behind the wheel, make sure to always follow the speed limit, wear a seatbelt and get a sober driver if needed. Live in Lancaster Township, McKenna Alexander, WJL News 8.